Okay. So let's start. Uh -huh. It's recording now, right? Yes, it is. Um, so I, I will play um, the same deck as yesterday. It'd be melee weapons, Sloan. I am going to play the same deck as well. It's the Arsenal deck with a couple starting blast dudes and some decent miracles that I can reliably cast. The new saddleback recently released called New Turning Back gave us at least one useful miracle. It's Consecration. I am using this in my deck. So hopefully it will make some impact on the game. Let's start. Yeah, I like it too. It's nice cheating resolution. Okay, so as yesterday, I'm revealing all the hands as the first player. Yep. And I am going to use my Grifter. Uh, on Clementine, I guess. Or maybe not. Okay, let's do Mario. I'm ready. Me too. Okay, low ball. We both get one pair, but uh, mine is higher, so you win low ball. Okay, I've got weird bug. What's that? It says that octagon is frozen. Okay. But this is my low ball, yeah? Yeah. I'm a winner. Yeah, That's it all. works for me, but I still got that communicate in the middle of the screen. Ah, you mean the pop-up windows that uh, started appearing recently yeah. about uh, the game lagging? Not this one, but similar one. Okay. It tells me that octagon is frozen. Okay. Although everything works properly. We should maybe uh, report it on the octagon forum saying that, guys, okay. it's a nice feature, but maybe you don't want it popping up all the time. Yeah. Try that. Okay, That's now upkeep. I got my income. My cost set doesn't have any costly dudes with upkeep, so I'm basically gaining three ghost stroke a turn, which is nice. Mm -hmm. I'll play pawn shop. Okay, one of the most useful miracles in this game so far, lay on hands. I'm playing that on Reverend Perry. I play whiskey flask. You like that item. I don't ever play it in any of my decks, but you actually put it to good use sometimes. Well, one of the few that let you cycle the cards. So, so, so Reverend Inbody will unboot and reburden fairly successfully. I got a couple cards in my deck that can fail this pull, but it wasn't one of them. Okay, I'm using Flask. And I am playing Gamora Jail. I could start the game with this deed in play, but I have five useful guys and no place for a jail. Okay, I'm going to play very useful item now. Raper. Ah. Hate it, hate it. So, do we want to fight yet? I don't think so. I'll just pass. Uh, I'll play another deed. It's Shane and Grave Security. Okay, that looks interesting. Uh, Reverend Perry goes to the town square. I'll pass. And Tony Harden goes to the town square. I'll pass again. Philip Swinford there as well. 
I'll pass again. And the end ring button. Pass. Oh, what the hell? Let Jake Smiley join the fun too. Okay, I'll pass again. Then Philip Swinford goes to this fancy new deed, Shane and Graves security, and takes control of it. Let me think. Okay. I'm moving Marion there. Right there. Mm -hmm. And I take control of it. Okay. Let's see what we can do. Oh, I know. We can kidnap Clementine Lab. I think that's a nice idea. Whee! Yep, all set, three of them. You go. I'll discard her. Yep. And all my dudes go home. Yep, the job was successful. I'll pass. Well, Okay, me too. I'll pass too. I am not discarding anything. I'm Neither am I. And, uh, drawing some cards. Again, this stupid bug. Slow ball time. Yep. Well, unlucky. Yeah. You wanna punish me for cheating? No. No. You no want cheating to. Rest. You want to, but you cannot. So I win the slow ball, get some money. Do an upkeep. Your upkeep? Yeah, one moment please. Okay, this this error message starts to reappear all the time now. It's really annoying. Maybe you can disable it in octagon settings. Oh, that's true. Octagon. Uh, but I don't know where. Okay, let's leave it for now. Yeah. Um, Try to figure it out. Okay, it is your play now. Right. Um, what do I do? I know. Um, Philip will go to the town square. Run away. Mm -hmm. I will give, I will buy Winchester for Ali. Uh huh. Okay. And I will bring in Wendy, my favorite Chinese chick. I hope that she doesn't hear it. Huh. Otherwise, she can kick me in the face with a pistol handle. Okay. Blue tick for Ali. Uh, Wendy to the town square then. It's gonna get hot real soon. Mm -hmm. Your favorite horse <laughs> goes to Marion. For the price of Three goes drop because you control the pawn shop. Yeah. Nice. By the way, the pawn shop already gave you four ghost rock. That's the price of the horse, actually. Yeah. This deal is pretty good. That's why I've got four copies of it in a yep. deck. 
but as I said yesterday, this deck is item heavy. I've got 15, 16 items in it. Goods. Well, Goods. Well, usually, usually I have no more than 12. Uh, Tommy, to the town square, by the way. Mm -hmm. I'll pass. I don't think I have ever made a deck that had regular goods, no gadgets and no spells, just goods, and it had more than 12 of them. So yeah, that's uh, unusual. What do I do? Uh, Andrew Burden to the town square. I'll pass. You are still announcing everything in the chat. Uh, you can. Well, Hopefully, it's helpful to all viewers. <laughs> I tell myself that. So, uh, Reverend Perry will unboot Philip Swinford. I need all the help I can get. Okay. Successful. I'll pass. Jake Smiley to the town square. I'll pass. And... And uh, hmm. Philip Swinford to the pawn shop, and I take control of it. Lawrence, go to the pawn shop as well. I pass. Pass. Ali joins um, Lawrence to the pawn shop. Okay. I also take control over pawn shop. Because yeah. we've got the same influence there. Wendy goes to the pawn shop. The funny thing, as I see it, is that you... Oh, Marion, his horse lets him join the, the shootout. I forgot about that. And he can do so with booting Wendy at the same time. Yeah, Nasty. You are a winner. Yeah, so I'll use her first. Hopefully, <coughs> somebody else. Mm. I'll call you out. Yeah. Okay, I accept. Lawrence joins Ali. Just two of them, right? Yes. Okay. And it's just Wendy for me. Just Wendy. Okay. My I'm... shootout play, I will kick uh, Ellie Hansman away with Wendy. Mm hmm. And I control the deed now. Yes. You if, if that matters. Probably doesn't. I'm going to use pistol whip to kick you out. Of the <laughs> oh, nasty, man. That's nasty. Okay, so that ends the shootout immediately. Cannot run, you have to stay there. Now let me think for a minute what to do next. Can you move Philip a bit towards the D? Ah, sure. sure. I know what I'm gonna do. Reverend Perry goes to your home. Hmm. Oh wait, no, one second. Sorry, undo that. Uh I, I forgot that Ali is not uh, wanted. 
to think of something else to do. Okay, then Andrew Burton goes to Tommy Bar uh, Tommy Harden goes to Shane and uh, Graves security. I'm going to use blue tick and I'm joining Marion in Shane and Graves. Mm -hmm. Uh, Winchester doesn't really help you in this situation. No, it doesn't. But Blue Team does because it can sell the casualty. So then. Hmm. Tommy Harden boots to move to the pawn shop and I take control of it. I'm going to pass. Reverend Inbody goes to the pawn shop as well. I'm going to pass. And he learns another copy of Lay on Hands. Mm -hmm. That's two of those. Unfortunately, the town square picture blocks the view. You can swap them. Uh, um, do what? Tommy and Red. Oh, yeah, well, that's a solution. Okay, you go. I'll pass again. I'm pretty sure you've got unprepared, so... <laughs> and I just hope that you don't have Stephen Wilde. So, Reverend will go to the town square. That's why I didn't swap them in the first place. I wasn't really going to stay there for long. Okay, I'm going to pass again. Shane and Graves. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'll pass too. I'll discard a card. I'm Bring not draw. discarding. Slow game, slow play. Uh, low ball. Uh -huh. Okay, let's see if I can do better. I got three nines, you got three twos. You win. I was really uh, hoping you would cheat. Oh, something wrong? Yes, this bug reappears all the time. I don't know why. Um, and it doesn't... Uh, I cannot close the window. I cannot mm -hmm. close pop-up window. So I have to lower the window and then bring it back to full screen. Okay, I won, yeah? Okay. I'll play El Grajo. You probably have another rip here in your hand, do you? I bet you do. Wendy to, to the town square. Wendy goes to secure the town. Okay. I'm calling you out here. Um, it's going to be Tommy. Lawrence calling. He's calling him out. That makes sense. Okay, Tommy accepts. El Grajo John joins. And only him. Okay. Uh, Tommy will fight alone. Okay. And I get another bounty for the shootout at the private location. 
and it's your shootout play. Okay. Well, I'm going to use Shane and Grab security. Yep. And I am going to steal your your gunslinger's bullets, mm -hmm. making my Tommy a two stun. That was faster on the draw for those who didn't quite see what I played. Faster on the draw is an, an awesome card, okay. a game changer. I'll pass. pass. Then I will also. I will also pass, and uh, I draw seven cards. I'm seven and one. And ready. I'm ready to. I've got legal full house. I got an illegal one. I'll pass. Uh, you don't punish me for it, huh? Okay. Um, so I'm going to save Tommy with the lay on hands. Mm -hmm. uh, successful. And I pass. Uh, do, I, do I get bound in that case? Or no? No, no, why? He stays on no, the board. Yeah, yeah. So and he keeps all the goods as yeah. well, yeah? The bonuses, the items, and the bounty as well. Okay. Same thing with and you it's... got the control, you, you just took control of the pawn shop. On yeah. The there. It, you called me out, so that's my play now, right? Mm hmm. Well, Philip doesn't feel all that safe in there all by himself. He has a bad history with the Sloan gang, so he goes to the town square. That pawn shop is all yours, bandit. Mm -hmm. I've already taken control of it. Yeah. Um, I'm going to pre play Fred. What? Oh, he's four, sorry. He's four? His yeah, yeah, yeah. Six, I, I six. confused him with his brother. Um, I'll pass. Alright. Uh, I'll pass too. You are getting ahead of me financially, economically. I need to catch up. Uh, I discarded the Joker. Redraw. And low ball. You first. Okay. Not good. Not good. And I got better, although I just lost the Joker. Mm -hmm. I will use Philip to redraw one card. And I win shooter. Uh, I win low ball. Collect income. Get some money. I must say, you are not using your outfit <laughs> in this game, not at all. Not yet. Neither the outfit nor Ellie. And you now have the money for Fred Ames, so I should be prepared for that. Okay, I know that you have pistol whips in your deck, so I will play Carter's Bounties. Yep. I'm playing another Lakima. Um, Ali gets her. Uh, oh, she's not unique. No. Okay, 
That's pretty silly now. <laughs> I'm sure this is not a common situation when you have four, when you have two forecast horses on the field, but it is possible. All right. Um, so, Reverend Perry will unboot Tommy Harden with his holy powers. Done. Successful. You'll go. I'll pass. Tommy Harden goes to the town square. I'll pass. I should start doing something, I think. Like, like send Wendy to, well, let's say, to the pawn shop. Okay, and I'm going to call her out. El Grajo calls her out. I think the Spanish dude is called El Grajo. El Grajo? Uh-huh. Possibly. A, I, I, I'm pretty sure I, I, I learned some Spanish in the past. So I accept El Grajo. Let's I accept. Grajo. Um, and Lawrence Joyce. And no one else yet? And no one else. Good thing I won low ball. Uh, yeah, Wendy will fight by herself. She gets a bounty. And I will kick uh, El Grajo away. Bam. I'm going to use Shane and Graves ability and bounty hunter joins the boss and I steal his bullets again Wendy is faster on the draw than the bounty hunter I'm using La Lakima and Ali joins the boss yep Tough little girl. I got no more plays, I pass. Okay, I'm going to use Winchester. A very tough little girl now. I pass. And I pass too. So I got three silver bullets, so I draw eight cards. Uh, Ali is my shooter, she's got four bullets. Currently, so I'm 10 and 1. Yep, 